Sonia and I are taking turns building our Rube Goldberg machine. The first section was my turn, and I explained it to Sonia. Right here, we have what is known as a ramp. Ooh, yeah, I know you know. Fancy. That. Right, so we put a marble on the ramp that rolls along this thing into what is known as a pylon. And then we've got these guys right here, which are dominoes. And when that falls off the table, it'll pull on the string, mm -hmm. and then it's attached to this. Now, this is the release mechanism, so when that uh, string gets pulled, it will let go, and it will fire this, which is a trebuchet. All right, should should we test it out? Absolutely. You want to try, try it? it? Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! Huh. Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Didn't 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 go. The, the Why didn't? Well, the domino doesn't seem to be heavy enough to make this contraption fire. You know what, Phil? What? I have an idea. Oh yeah. Maxed out dominoes. Maxed out dominoes? I love that idea. Yeah. Uh, why are they maxed out? Do they, do they glow in the dark? We'll see. Do they produce electricity? We'll see. Do they talk to animals? We will do see. Do they dissolve in water? Whoa, maxed out dominoes. That's what I'm talking about. These are very maxed out. OK, so, so we now. we started yeah. off with this domino. Uh-huh. Then we went bigger. Yeah. Bigger, yeah. bigger, 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 bigger. And we went to the biggest. Right. And this is where we're going to get the most weight, which is going to trigger it and release. Ha ha! Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Ah. The one thing to remember about Rube Goldberg machines is they never work perfectly every time. <gasps> didn't, didn't, didn't go. But we tweaked it and adjusted things, and then here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa. Nice. Ah. Yeah, check this out. Whoa. Okay, so nice. now, now that we've got the trebuchet firing, yep. the ball is going over there. Mm -hmm. We need to get the ball going over here yeah. to the cake button. Cake button. I can't wait for the cake. So I have an idea. Come on. Okay. No, wait. Changing direction stuff is all wrong. Uh, okay. <laughs> This does not look like armor, Jenna. This looks like pumpkin soup. Our first solution may not seem like armor, but it's a hard shell and the pumpkin floats in the water. <laughs> when we drop it, the bin explodes, which slows the pumpkin down a lot. The result? Not perfect, but still, remember, it's better than our control. So compared to the control pumpkin, that did pretty well. That was pretty good. Yeah. yeah I'll give you that. What is this? All right, well, we've got a pumpkin covered in knee pads. Knee pad pumpkin! <laughs> knee pads are armor for your body. So wrapping the pumpkin in knee pads... Knee pad pumpkin! Drop it, Phil! Uh, didn't seem to make much of a difference. Maybe it didn't land on a knee pad. Maybe we just missed it. We ended up in between the knee pads. I think that must be it. It's looking, it's looking a little rough. But using sports equipment gave me an idea for using an advanced material. It's called sorbethane, and it's used in modern sports equipment. It disperses impact. See, watch this. Okay, so I've got a hammer, and I hit the pumpkin here, and it goes right into the pumpkin, right? So take that. Now I hit it again on the sorbethane, and... Haha, -ha, see? Nothing. So I thought maybe this will cushion the, the impact. The result? Not bad. I don't think it dispersed it quite well enough. There is a crack coming right from the hole that you made with that hammer. OK, so the hole might have structurally weakened the pumpkin a little bit. So the sorbet thing did a pretty good job, actually. Yeah. Good thing it is in athletic equipment. That's what it's for. Carbon fiber is a very modern kind of material. It's carbon meshed together and then glued down, so it's super strong. Super strong, and the pumpkin is contained inside. It's like double shields. Yeah, so can I test how strong this is? Oh, yeah, this is the armor solution, so let, let's try it out. See, better try it. Whoa! But when we drop it, we realize there were too many hard surfaces and not enough cushioning. But the carbon fiber held up really well. Slowing the pumpkin down and cushioning it is the answer, which leads me to my final solution. I call it the lunar lander. That's what I was doing. I was coming in, right? Right. Yeah. See, I thought we were supposed to be doing armor? Yes. 
Um, so this is armor. I know it looks like foam, but you see armor like in a helmet, it's supposed to crumple to protect your head, right? right? So this will also crumple because it's not just foam, there's wood inside. So the wood is supposed to break and then the foam bends and the whole thing is supposed to cushion the impact of the pumpkin. Ooh. That looks pretty good. The landing crushed and broke a lot of the arms of the lander, but the breaking cushions the impact. Oh, what do you think? I think it's, I think it's good. I think we're good. Look at that. This is called flyboarding. <laughs> Powerful jets of water are being shot out from this board at my feet. Whoa. The engine on the watercraft behind me creates the water pressure, which travels up the hose and through the jets. The force of the water is strong enough that I can use it to fly around. So what's the difference between this and a water car? Well, we don't have to take that much water with us because it starts in the lake and ends up in the lake. So the only water I have to carry is in the hose that goes up to the platform. <laughs> Flyboarding is lots of fun, but it takes some practice to get it right. Bouncing on jets of water isn't easy, but I got the hang of it. It's all due to Newton's third law. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Whoa. Physics! Initial thrust or constant thrust. <laughs> What's the difference? It's all about power. <laughs> uh -oh. Paper airplane initial thrust. It gets all. It gets all of it. It gets all of its thrust from my throw. <laughs> Initial thrust! If you want constant thrust, you have to take the thrust with you, like this. There's a lot of cats in here. Initial thrust! Initial thrust! Initial thrust! All the energy is put into the beginning of the... the energy is put into the beginning. If you want constant thrust, then the thing has to produce power while it's moving. Wind up car, constant thrust. Actual car, yeah, that's constant thrust because you have an engine. Of course, not this car, this is, this is a toy car, but, but you know what I mean. Check out this fishing rod, and on it, I have a lure with a hook. Now watch this, I cast it out, initial thrust, but then I use the reel and start winding it back in. Constant thrust, huh? Huh? Two thrusts in one. And now you know the difference between initial thrust and constant thrust. Hey! Huh, I caught a fish! Hey, hey! Oh, oh, easy, kitty! Nice kitties! Easy, Ramona! <laughs> To build our maxed out cart house, the Science Max build team and I used large pieces of foam insulation, which were super light and easy to work with. Once we set up the first layer, we needed to bring in a scissor lift so we could keep building the next layers. By the time we got to the top, our cart house was 10 meters tall. Yeah, giant house of cards. And now that I built a giant house of cards, what do I do with it? I knock it down. <laughs> Science! I'm gonna build it again. Sonia and I are rebuilding our milk crate bridge. Since cubes don't work if you're trying to make an arch and changing the shape of each milk crate would take too long, we're using wooden wedges to fill the gaps at the top of the milk crates. 
Once we get the wedges in, the milk crates have support at their tops and they make a perfect arch. Are you ready? I'm ready. All we have to do is pull the wooden thing out and if it holds up on its own, we've done it. We pull out the support and... It stands! It works! The bridge supports itself. Now it's time for the final test. We try to walk on this bridge. So we spent some time making sure our bridge was safe. We added a crash mat and... We built a second arch. We sure did. So that it's a little bit wider and it feels very solid. So the only thing to do now is to test it. Test it out. You gonna do it? I absolutely will. All right. Absolutely. Sonia puts on a helmet and gives it a try. And sure enough, it works. Yeah! yeah! Milk Crate Bridge! 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 Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Science Max experiments at large. Milk Crate Bridge! Yeah! yeah. For science! High five! High five! Oh, 